to get complete video lectures of gate ies and ssc je mechanical engineering branch download our free application gate lectures for mechanical from play store to continue getting preparation related videos on youtube subscribe our channel along with bell icon to get regular notifications hello everyone i am gagan ladda and today we are going to see a small trick with the help of which you can you will be able to solve some of the questions of thermodynamics very easily very quickly so i will directly jump into the questions and with the help of that question i will tell you that trick okay so there was one question asked in which of which one of the following relation the entropy change will be negative first air expands isothermally from 6 bar to 3 bar second air is compressed to half the volume at constant pressure third heat is supplied to air at constant volume till pressure becomes three fold and fourth air expands isentropically from 6 bar to 3 bar so we have to tell in which of the following relation the entropy change will be negative now before actually uh, solving this question i will just tell you how is the slope of constant volume and constant pressure curve in ts diagram and obviously we will have to solve this question with the help of ts diagram only because the question is asked that in which case the entropy is decreasing so better would be to solve this with ts diagram so how will be the slope of constant pressure and constant volume curve in ts diagram so we know the relation what tds is equal to du plus pdv okay now if process is a constant volume process then obviously this dv will be equal to 0 okay and we will get what tds is equal to du and this du is nothing but this can be written as cv into dt okay we want to determine the slope of constant volume curve in ts diagram ts diagram means the temperature obviously will be taken in y axis and entropy in x axis that means the slope would be dt by ds not ds by dt getting just so this will be from here this dt by ds dt by ds will be equal to t by cv first thing getting this or not okay now similarly what will be the slope of constant pressure curve on ts diagram so using another relation tds is equal to dh minus vdp again for constant pressure process if pressure is constant and obviously this dp will be equal to 0 and we will get what tds is equal to dh and dh can be written as what cp into dt dh is nothing but cp dt okay so from here this dt by ds dt by ds will be equal to t by cp okay so these are the slopes of constant pressure and constant volume curve on uh, ts diagram now from the expression itself you can conclude which slope is more and which is less so this cp and cv as we know are specific heat at constant pressure and specific heat at constant volume now we know for any gas is specific heat at constant pressure obviously is more than that of the specific heat at constant volume cp is always greater than cv now how is it so that cp cp is what a specific heat at constant pressure now what is this specific heat specific heat is defined as the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 kg of gas by 1 degree centigrade okay 1 kg gas ka temperature 1 degree centigrade increase karne ke liye kitni heat lag rahi hai that is nothing but specific heat now at constant volume obviously why this cp is greater than cv i am telling you because suppose if we are having a gas which is filled inside a piston cylinder arrangement uh, we are supposing uh, we are we are assuming weightless frictionless piston okay so as the gas as the heat is supplied to this gas obviously this piston will move okay some part of this heat is will be utilized to increase the temperature of this gas and remaining part is utilized to produce the work to move the piston okay and this pr process is a constant pressure process process uh, pressure maintained is the atmospheric pressure so this is the constant pressure process so in this in this particular process in constant pressure process whole heat is not utilized to raise the temperature some part of heat is utilized to increase the volume to do certain work so obviously more heat will be required to raise the temperature by 1 degree centigrade because whole of the heat is not used to raise the, raise the temperature so obviously more heat will be required to raise the temperature by 1 degree centigrade on the other hand if we are having certain constant volume process if the volume is constant and i am heating this gas at constant volume now now what will happen the whatever heat we are providing here whole of the heat is utilized to increase the temperature 
okay none of the heat is wasted why am i calling it as wasted because our primary objective here is to increase the temperature for a specific heat we are analyzing okay so some no heat is wasted in providing certain work all whole of the heat is utilized in uh, increasing the temperature so obviously heat required here will be less to increase the temperature and heat required here will be more to increase the temperature by 1 degree centigrade getting this or not okay therefore cp is greater than C cv for a gas clear or not okay and since cp is greater than cv so obviously this term t by cp will be less than that of the t by cv therefore t by cp is less than t by cv okay that means the slope of constant pressure curve in a ts diagram is less than that of the constant volume curve okay that means constant volume curve ka slope jo rahega ts diagram mein zyada rahega as compared to constant pressure curve okay so if i plot this ts diagram i will get this ts diagram if i plot constant pressure and constant volume curve on this ts diagram i will get like this so this is the constant pressure process at different pressures p1 p2 p3 okay and constant volume process uh, and constant volume curve the slope will be more as compared to that of the constant constant pressure curve so the constant volume curve slope will be like this v1 v2 and v3 okay now one more thing to note here is as we are moving upwards this pressure is increasing okay that means in this particular diagram one more thing to note is p3 is greater than p2 is greater than p1 प्रेशर की वैल्यू जो है जैसे जैसे हम ऊपर की ओर जा रहे हैं वो इंक्रीज हो रही है प्रेशर इज इंक्रीजिंग एंड वॉल्यूम एज वी आर मूविंग अपवर्ड्स वॉल्यूम इज डिक्रीजिंग दैट मीन्स दिस वी थ्री इज लेस देन वी टू इज लेस देन वी वन ओके जस्ट दिस थिंग यू हैव टू रिमेंबर एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस यू कैन यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व सच क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन विच आई टोल्ड यू ओके द स्लोप ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम कर्व इज मोर देन डेट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर कर्व फर्स्ट थिंग सेकेंड थिंग दिस प्रेशर इज इंक्रीजिंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन in this direction pressure is increasing and in this direction the volume is decreasing that's it you just have to remember this thing clear or not okay now with this we will solve the question now okay so now coming to the question the question says in which one of the following relation the entropy change will be negative entropy change negative kis mein hai that we have to tell so the very first option says air expands isothermally from 6 bar to 3 bar air is expanding isothermally from 6 bar to 3 bar that means the pressure is decreasing expansion is isothermal pressure is decreasing now how would be the curve so isothermal expansion that means temperature will remain constant first thing and the pressure is decreasing and how can the pressure be decreased now because this p2 is less than p1 is less than p3 is greater than p2 is greater than p1 that means the pressure is decreasing in this direction so if i want to decrease the pressure at constant temperature obviously the curve has to be like this then only the pressure will decrease getting this now so pressure is decreasing from 6 bar to 3 bar so in this in this case in you can see this arrow the curve is like this so obviously the entropy is increasing so this is not the correct answer we want to tell where the entropy is decreasing second thing air is compressed to half the volume at constant pressure air is compressed to half the volume at constant pressure pressure is constant and volume is decreasing okay so pressure remain constant and volume is decreasing okay how can volume decrease now since v3 is greater than v2 is greater than uh, sorry since v1 is greater than v2 is greater than v3 is direction mein volume jo hai wo decrease ho rahi hai so agar constant pressure mein volume ko decrease karna hai then the obviously the curve has to be like this this curve will be like this okay now i think i have we have got the answer because in this particular case volume jab decrease ho rahi hai constant pressure mein so obviously entropy jo hai wo decrease ho jayegi so this is the answer answer is b uh, still we will analyze uh, two more points heat is supplied to air at constant volume till the pressure becomes threefold it is supplied at constant volume and pressure is increasing okay so the curve will be like this this is this will be the curve heat is supplied at constant volume and pressure is increasing to upar ki aur pressure kyunki increase ho raha hai so obviously the entropy is also increasing in this particular case and last point says air expands isentropically from 6 bar to 3 bar air is expanding isentropically isentropically means obviously the pressure will remain constant Uh, sorry entropy isentropically means the entropy will remain constant and the pressure is decreasing like this so entropy will be constant so there is only one option in which entropy is decreasing so the answer should be b getting this or not okay now one more question we will do the question says consider the following statement regarding the throttling process of wet steam 
and which of the following statement is correct we have to tell regarding the throttling process. The first statement says the steam pressure and temperature decrease but enthalpy remains constant. Second, the steam pressure decreases, the temperature increases but enthalpy remains constant. Third, the entropy specific volume and dryness fraction increases. Fourth, the entropy increases but the volume and dryness fraction decreases. Okay, and we have to tell in which of the following statement is correct, statement or statements are correct uh, with reference to the throttling process. So, obviously, because in throttling process as we know the enthalpy, enthalpy remains constant. So, because enthalpy remains constant obviously, it will be much better to use pH diagram pressure enthalpy diagram to solve such questions. Okay. So, this is a basic pH diagram I will first explain you all the lines constant temperature constant pressure lines all, all such lines I will explain you in this and then we will move to the uh, statement of the questions. So, this is pH diagram this is the saturation curve okay, as we know about saturation curve and this is the constant temperature line this is the constant temperature line in blue and the uh, thing is that that this T3 thing to note is that T3 is greater than T2 is greater than T1 that means temperature is increasing in this direction. Upar ki hum jase jase ja rahe hai. First thing the pressure is increasing and second thing the temperature is also increasing first thing. Okay. Next you can see this and constant entropy line S1, S2 and S3 and here this S3 is less than S2 is less than S1. Okay, you just need to remember all these things. If you are remembering all these things, you will be able to solve such questions very, uh, very quickly and very uh, beautifully. Okay. Next third thing, you can see this dotted line is constant volume line in black. Okay. And here also, if we are moving upwards, obviously this volume will decrease. That means V3 is less than V2 is less than V1. Okay. So the temperature. Upper ki ja to temperature increase ho hai, but entropy decrease ho hai and volume is also decreasing. Okay, so, these are constant property lines. Now, coming to our question, the question says in throttling process what will happen? Okay, now, uh, as we know in throttling process the enthalpy remains constant and this is the throttling of the wet steam. Okay, throttling of the wet steam. One more point I will I would like to tell you here is that of the dryness fraction. The dryness fraction line is like this and this is the saturated liquid line where dryness fraction is 0 and this is saturated vapor line here where dryness fraction is 100 percent or 1 okay or as we, as we are moving inwards this dryness fraction is decreasing okay so this dryness fraction is decreasing clear or not okay now if we are throttling a wet steam let us suppose we are having a point here at this particular point and we are at this particular point we are assuming and we are throttling this wet steam throttling means the enthalpy remains constant. Now, what will happen? Okay, So, this is our process I have darkened this line 1 to 2. Now, the very first statement says the steam pressure and temperature decreases and enthalpy remains constant. Whether this is correct or not we want to determine. Steam pressure and temperature decreases and enthalpy remains constant. So, obviously, upper se niche ki or aray ye curve. So, obviously, the pressure is decreasing, pressure is decreasing, temperature is also decreasing but enthalpy remains constant. That means, statement 1 is correct getting this steam pressure and temperature is decreasing but enthalpy remains constant second statement says the steam pressure decreases the temperature increases but enthalpy remains constant steam pressure decreases temperature increases obviously this is not correct because here steam pressure is also decreasing steam temperature is also decreasing so this is an incorrect statement the third statement says the entropy specific volume and dryness fraction increases the entropy specific volume and dryness fraction increases. Let us check. So, entropy ka kya ho hai? When we are moving down, obviously here the entropy is increasing. In this direction entropy is decreasing. S3 is less than S2 is less than S1. That means S1 jo hai, that is greater than S2, that is greater than S3. That means entropy obviously is increasing. Entropy is increasing. What about a specific volume? Specific volume is also increasing. As you have seen V3 is less than V2 is less than V1. Specific volume is also increasing. Okay. And third thing about dryness fraction. So, dryness fraction is also increasing. Why? Because here we are having dryness fraction as 1 or thoda under are than 0 0.9, 0 0.8. That means we are moving from inward to outward like this. Okay. That means we are moving towards the greater dryness fraction. So, dryness fraction is also increasing. So, this statement is also correct. The entropy specific volume and dryness fraction increases. Last statement says the entropy that means the statement third two was incorrect third is correct. Last statement says the entropy increases but the volume and dryness fraction decreases. So, obviously this is not correct entropy is increasing no doubt but the volume and dryness fraction as it is saying 
is decreasing. So obviously the dryness fraction is increasing and volume is also increasing. So this statement is also not correct. So this is how with the help of uh, if you understand the simple diagrams PV diagram, TS diagram, PH diagram all these diagrams and if you just remember the constant property lines with the help of which you can easily solve such questions. Okay, so I think this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much.